This was Bobby Marks on uh, NBA Today just to, uh, about a week and a half ago on the potential of this Knicks starting five, man. So uh, let, let's play the Bobby Marks soundbite right here on Worst Take and let's get your reaction to it, Al. Here, here we go. Here's Bobby Marks. Well, I would even go on record right now and saying that this New York team, their starting five, is the best starting five wow. in the NBA on paper. Now, they oh, certainly have to go oh, out and they, ha- go, they have to go out and play, yeah, right? Per- per- we start training camp right now, and when you look at certainly Carl at the five and then OG at the four and an OB, health is going to play a big role. My only concern, Perk, is their depth. And I know losing Dante DiVincenzo hurts as far as who comes off the bench for this New York team, but that starting five, including the Boston Celtics, is as good as any starting five in the NBA right now. All right, man. Bobby Marks is starting five. It's the best on paper out. To that, you say what? I agree with that. Mm, okay. Good take. I, I agree. Okay. And, and the and the caveat is on paper. Okay. You know, but uh, I do agree with that. I think what, we, what we're about to watch this season, I mean, I'll give the respect to the reigning champs because they had an elite starting five last year that just broke metrics, all advanced stats and so forth. Yeah. Analytics. So you got to give them respect. So we got to go watch the this new starting five for the New York Knicks play. But I think they're going to be up there, man. I think you're going to watch this starting five and offensively, it's what's going to carry this team defensively. You know, it all comes down to what Brunson and Cat can do and how they can contribute because you already know the perimeter defense from Hart. OG and Bridges is going to be there. It's just the rest of the team to just really knock it out of the park. And if that defense is to hold up, there's no question that this team shouldn't have one of the best starting fives in the NBA. Yeah, I I, I agree. And TM says he, he did kind of let off the gas at the end. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he, he didn't go full first take on it. You know what I mean? He, he, he no, went. I told you, man. He gave you the caveat. He yeah. said on paper. He he went and then he slowed down a little bit when he thought he, you know, you, you know why he did that, CP? He's probably yeah. a Jets fan at heart. And he, I remember the year where they got Derek Mason, Plaxico Burst, and like yeah. Yeah. on paper, this team should make it to the Super Bowl. And yeah. the next thing you know, that team goes eight and eight. Yeah, and they could have made the playoffs by beating the Miami Dolphins, but no, we benched yeah. Antonio Holmes because he couldn't, you know, get his act together. No one thought that but you, man. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> and I back was, to back I AFC was, championships. I was hating heavy when Plaxico got out the bing and went to the Jets. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to the loyalty, man? Lash, I hope you're hearing this, Lash. The Jets Super Bowl with Plaxico. Oh, no. No one was thinking that. But anyway. um, Yeah, I think on paper, it, it could be. You could see some really prolific offense out of this team on given nights defensively. I think they can really get after it. But, there's, you know, there's a lot that has to come together. Chemistry, for one. Health, like Bobby Mark said. And we got to see where the, where the bench goes. We, we talked about c- campaign and deuce. Shamit. We didn't, you know, we didn't really get to Shamit on our, on our point guard. On our, well, not really guard, but just the guard rotation. Talking about Shamit. He's going to fill an important role. Off mm-hmm. of this bench. He's going to make the team. For sure. And he's going to be very important, man. They're going to need his shooting, his three-point shooting, to replace DiVincenzo's production between Cam, between Payne and Deuce and Shamit. They're going to need to produce, man. They're going to need to produce some big offense because that's it right there off the bench. So, um, you know, how the bench comes together, it will be vital. But obviously, I got to go with the champs. Got to respect the champs. I mean, at an uh, at an eleven point four net rating, they had the third best net rating all time in the NBA. <laughs> out of NBA, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It's that's a high bar. To it's like, a high bar. It's, it's a, a high, high bar. bar. And, and it, I mean, if you're comparing it, right, like just one through four. I mean, on that team, like all of them can play defense, score, and facilitate. I mean, not saying that. Everybody can't do this, but I think it's just another like watching them last season was truly another level. Like, yeah, you know, it really is. I don't I don't think the Knicks are that far away with this starting. Yeah, I I truly don't think they're that far. Eleven point four net rating. So I can't put them at the top. You still got to respect Boston for what they did last year because they did it in the regular season. They did it in the postseason and they dominated. 
Um, so I'm going to put Boston number one. I'll put us at two in terms of starting fives. I'll put OKC three. Mm. Put OKC three. I'll put Philly at four. Philly at four. Over, 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 over Minnesota. I'm putting it out. You know, you got an MVP caliber player. Maxi's over the Bucks. A Bucks five. They getting older, man. I, you know, Brooklyn Middleton. I, I don't know. Over, over Embiid, Maxi George. I, I mean, you're asking Paul George and Embiid to be healthy. <laughs> I know, I know. I, that that is true. But he asking the Knicks to be healthy too, right? Uh, yeah, and Cat and OG to be healthy too. Uh, I I think I I think I'd still lead more toward the only one that really is like OG. I mean, I get it. I I know people were at me like ah, Alex. How can you say Cat is like durable? I know he played twenty nine games two seasons ago. You look at that fifty. Don't forget that fifty was during the uh, COVID year. So fifty yeah. out of seventy two games. That's 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 like sixty out of eighty two. Yeah, you know. That's that's a good amount of games to be playing. Yeah. Um I just think he I think Cat I don't know. I I I'd lean more towards Cat being healthy than actually injured. So if he misses time here and there, that's one thing. I don't see it being OG is the one that really scares me. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That because he could just have as we saw, the elbow injury, and you're like, Whoa, yeah, elbow. Like yeah. it's all these obscure injuries, man, that just have him sidelined for a time, man. He's just, he's the one that if he's out, man, I, he's your best isolation defender just because of his build, right? He has the wingspan. He has the physical tools to, to be that type of guy guarding one through four. I mean, he's the only guy that can really get up to guarding centers just because of his frame. Yeah. So if he goes down, I, that's, that's tough, but fine, fine. You want to put Philly up there, man? Fine. I get what you're I'll saying. I'll put him up there. I, oh, I mean, I, I mean, where are you I putting? Are you, are you putting soda ahead of them? What who, who, who are you? Where's your five? Give me your five. Okay, so I'm gonna have Celtics, Knicks. All right. Okay, that's all right. Who who you say? Who you say was three? You said Philly was okay, three. OKC. Okay, OKC. Okay, okay, the yeah, West. Like best that. to the West. Best to the West. Okay. Yeah, they just got Hartenstein. They just got Caruso. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go Dallas, man. Mm. Wow. Can't sweep on Dallas. Where are you putting them? Four. You putting Dallas is starting five. So who's their start five right now? Kyrie. Luca. Pull it up right now. Luca. Is my guy Gafford. Quentin Grimes starting? Is Q Dot starting? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Shout out to Quentin Grimes. So that's my guy. Um Grimes Hive still alive somewhere. Yes. I'm pulling up the depth charts right now. Just Clay? So you got Clay, PJ, Gafford. You putting that over Philly five? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I like. Look, I like. Uh, I like Maxi. I would probably go with this over Philly. I mean, this team made it to the finals, even though they had a poor outing in the finals. You know, this is the same team that got past. I know it's a different Thunder team, but they got past through the Thunder. They got passed through the the Timberwolves. I think you got to give this team some respect, too. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. It's a little bit different of a team. A little different. It's a little different. A little different. Not too too much different. I mean, it's only Clay in the starting rotation that, you know, we're just swapping out here. Somebody said Denver. Well, Jamal Murray don't get right. They're not not there. No Bruce. No no, uh, KCP. It's a little different that's, of a team. I think that's tough, man. I think without KCP, that's tough. Even without Bruce Brown last year, they were yeah, they were they were different. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I put Milwaukee in this whole thing, man. Yeah, what do you, where do you that put date, them? You got to respect them because I feel like mm, got to respect them. I guess Philly would go five. Milwaukee would probably go. Probably Milwaukee goes six. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough, man. What do you guys think in the chat? Bobby Mark says the Knicks starting five can be 
the best in the league. And this is from our guy, Iman Shumpert. Oh, boy. Who, you know, I don't think, I I, I don't know if this was a, a first take audition, a worst take audition. But here was Shump in all of his glory. Uh, <laughs> let's hear this. Let's hear this by Shump. And it was uh, in regards to the Knicks, man. Let, let's hear Shump on worst, worst take, first take, sorry, uh, last week. Here we go. I love them on paper. Like, I love the Cat Brunson. I love that on paper. Like, that's awesome. I don't love that at the end of the game in the playoffs. Like, it's not scary enough. Uh, there's got to be some player that can go off by himself in the playoffs. Me being a part of the playoffs for years, I just know the a pick and roll comes for, calls for adjustments, tags, rotations. The hardest thing to beat is knowing exactly what's coming, and it's an ISO, and there's nothing you can do but watch. We all have to sit here and watch and hope he misses that ISO. And I'm not against Cat or Brunson. I like both of them as players. I don't think that at the end of a game they can go back and forth like that. And if they are able to do that, I'm going to be excited to watch it. I like them on paper. At the end of a game, at the end of a game, I would take my chances saying, yes, I will guard Brunson and we will rotate on Cat. And Brunson would cook Shumper, bro. In isolation. But it just sounds <laughs> No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, look, I I, I would say this. He he's coming from a, he's got a championship ring. He's coming from a perspective where he played with some of the greatest isolation players to ever play. Whether that's Melo, you want to go Braun, Kyrie Irving. He's got a ring. He's coming from experience. He's seen Steph break their heart several times. So he has perspective that we have to respect. However, when he loops in Brunson in that, well, they just don't have a guy that can go get it and, you know, a guy who you know it's coming and you still can't beat it, he's describing Jalen Brunson. And so that shows me that he clearly either didn't watch or hasn't been watching in the playoffs or he just doesn't know what he's talking about because that player is... Captain Clutch. That's why we call him Captain Clutch here, Iman Shumpert. Well, uh, you know, CP, I don't think it's either or. I think it's both. I think he has never watched Jalen Brunson in the playoffs, yeah. and he clearly doesn't know what he's talking about because yeah. the past two seasons, we've watched Jalen Brunson. You can even say three seasons, man, even when he was down in Dallas. This man put up 40, 30, 40 point performances against the Utah Jazz when they had Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. He did it against the Cleveland Cavaliers where they had Jarrett. They had the best four that was claimed, right? It was like, oh, Knicks lost out on Donovan Mitchell. They got, you know, they got uh, Garland, Mitchell. They got Jarrett Allen, Mobley. But yet this guy goes out there and demolishes them. Then yeah. you talk about going against the Miami Heat, Eric Spolster, Jimmy Butler, and all that crew. And yet game, was it six? Man drops 40 points to keep the Knicks in it. And you could even argue that if he didn't sit for like two, three, maybe even five minutes. Knicks could have potentially won that game, gone to a game seven. And then you look what he did against Philly. All right. No Julius Randle. All right. Your second best score was Dante DiVincenzo, a role player. And yet you just went through the numbers that he put up, CP. 40 point performances, three, yeah. four games in a row between Philly and then starting against the Pacers. What are we talking about, man? Yeah. Like, what are we? This is a guy who's, bro we're talking about MVP consideration. How do you think he gets up there? Right. How, how do you think he get up there? How, how do you get up there? You so, think it's just a walk in, the, walk in the park for this guy? No, he can score at will. So clearly it's one of the worst takes possible. Uh, like that, I don't even know if it's an addition. I, I don't know what it... I, that is just a terrible take. Terrible take by yeah. Shump. Come on, man. You're a former Nick. How are you not watching games? I don't know. For that, for that take, CP, 
He can't be in the Legends Lounge. I yeah. can tell you that right now. I oh, are you are you rescinding his Legends Lounge pass? Yeah, man. Not wow. for that. That for that take. That's terrible. Wow.